Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 269. Ischemic Heart Disease Manifestation. What is angina? Angina is a condition that is marked by severe chest pain in the chest, which happens due to the narrowing of the coronary arteries. And this happens when the narrowing is more than 75%. But there is no myocyte necrosis. What is stable angina? Stable angina is retrosternal chest pain with exertion. This happens mostly secondary to atherosclerosis. What are the ECG changes observed in stable angina? In stable angina, there is ST depression on the ECG. What is Prince Metal's variant angina? Prince Metal variant angina is chest pain that occurs at rest secondary to coronary artery spasm. What are the ECG changes observed in Prince Metal Angina? In Prince Metal Angina, there is ST elevation on the ECG. What is unstable or crescendo angina? Unstable or crescendo angina is chest pain that happens due to thrombosis with incomplete coronary artery occlusion. What are the ECG changes observed with unstable or crescendo angina? In unstable or crescendo angina, there is ST depression on the ECG. One thing to note about this angina is that there is worsening chest pain at rest or with minimal exertion. What is coronary steel syndrome? Coronary steel syndrome is a phenomenon where the alteration of the circulation pattern leads to reduction in the blood directed to the coronary artery. It is caused when there is a narrowing of the coronary arteries and a coronary vasodilators are used. What this does is there is going to be stealing of blood away from those parts of the heart. This happens as a result of the narrowed coronary arteries always being maximally dilated to compensate for the decreased upstream blood supply. This ends up resulting in resistant vessels of the coronary artery which causes the blood to be shunted away from the coronary vessels supplying the ischemic zones which in turn will create more ischemia. So basically in this condition vasodilators are what is aggravating ischemia by shunting blood from areas of critical stenosis to an area of higher perfusion. How does myocardial infarction happen? Myocardial infarction happens when there is acute thrombosis due to coronary artery atherosclerosis which leads to complete occlusion of the coronary artery and this leads to myocyte necrosis. What are the ECG changes in myocardial infarction? In myocardial infarction, the ECG first shows ST depression. This can progress into ST elevation with continued ischemia and transmural necrosis. What is sudden cardiac death? Sudden cardiac death is death from cardiac causes within one hour of onset of symptoms. This happens due to a lethal arrhythmia like ventricular fibrillation and is associated with coronary artery disease in up to 70% of the cases. What does chronic ischemic heart disease eventually lead to? In chronic ischemic heart disease, it eventually will progress into congestive heart failure, and this happens due to chronic ischemic myocardial damage. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com, where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high-quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.